Hello cuties, welcome to my part two of my Black Friday slash I guess Cyber Monday even though I did technically get everything on Black Friday. I feel like Cyber Monday is not really a thing anymore since everything's online. But anyways, this is my part two, everything that I bought online and I wanted to get this up much earlier but seriously guys I still am missing two packages so I'm just gonna show you guys what I have and I'm also not gonna be in this video again because I honestly guys I'm just not feeling very well I really don't want to get like super dressed up to make a video so I hope this is okay let me know down below if you actually care if I'm like in all the videos because in my personal opinion I really like it better when people are in the video instead of just showing things but honestly you can't always do that so I think sometimes it'll be fine so alrighty guys let's get started please don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and don't forget to wait till the end of the video to see if I chose you to shout out in this video Woohoo! so as you can see right in front of you I have these two Victoria's Secret items I did already show you guys what I bought from Victoria's Secret when I went on Black Friday but they still had these on sale just like Black Friday so when I went back um, I got these two I, I believe they were six dollars each which was what they had on Black Friday and this is the Velvet Petals Frosted I definitely don't want to buy more like sprays and lotions because I have so many but holy moly guys this one smells so nice it also has this beautiful packaging. I love, love, love the packaging. So I did end up getting these as well, and then I used my coupon for a free pair of panties, but I cannot show you guys that because I'm wearing them. Woohoo, panties! All right, you guys can't really see these, but and Bath and Body Works the day after Black Friday, so it was Saturday and Sunday. They had like a bunch of sales, and they had the wallflowers for three dollars each. Plus, I had a coupon for ten dollars off, and on top of that, I had a free body care um, item, which I already gave to somebody for Christmas. So I can't show you guys. So I did get a couple. I mean, I'm not gonna show you guys all of them. They just smell really good. I have some caramel, some blueberry sugar. They smell very sweet and lovely so and I have a hot cocoa I've never had this one in um, a wallflower so we'll see how what smells and then I did tell you guys in my other Black Friday haul that I ordered some things from Walmart because I wasn't completely sure if I was gonna go to the store some of the items I got were these pop solo karaoke microphones I love these oh my god guys I really really like to sing I don't know if you guys know that like it's one of my favorite things in the whole world and we used to have a karaoke machine and we would use it for birthday parties, Christmas, like Thanksgiving, and it broke. So we haven't had one for a long time. And I saw these, they were $15 on sale for Black Friday. And I got a pink, uh, like a rose gold, and then a black one. And you can use these. Um, they have like Bluetooth, so you can connect them to your phone. And they have like karaoke apps you can sing. Let me sing you guys a song right now. Hello guys, so this is what the microphone sounds like and I'm gonna sing you guys a little song. This is my most requested song ever. One, two, three, four! Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. Thank you, thank you. So they honestly sound pretty good and I can see these being a hit in like birthday parties or whatever and like we can just sing. So I'm super excited I got these. And then the next thing I got is The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds game for the 3DS. They had a bunch of video games on sale and they had an amazing selection for Nintendo 3DS. They had, you won't believe it, four games. And I had two of them already so I was like, oh wow, what a great selection. But I didn't have this one, I don't know why I didn't. But anyways, it was on sale and I got this one as well. Yay. Next up from GameStop, all of their pops were $8. I thought that was really, really good. And I ended up choosing Shock and Lock. They did not have Barrel, but that's okay because these two were my favorites. I really, really like the way these look. I love the way they made them because I feel like they actually look really creepy. Like, look at their black eyes and look at his smile. I really, really like these. These are some of my favorite pops, like, ever. So I'm super excited that I got these and on sale. And then they also had all used games, buy two, get one free, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So the free one that I got was Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Ugh. 
Yay, free stuff! And this one did come with the case. I did not realize until I actually made the order that I forgot that sometimes GameStop does not have the cases to games and I was like, no! <laughs> And then pretty much the reason why I made the order on GameStop because I wanted this game, Stella Glow, which uh, was recommended to me. So I'm really glad I found it on there, both uh, Stella Glow and then the other one is Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. They both did not come with their cases, which is a big pet peeve of mine. I just cannot have like the games without their cases. So I did end up having to order the cases and that kind of sucks because I pretty much had to spend money. But I mean, oh well, now they have their cases, but the Kingdom Hearts case is really, really, really bad. It's, I don't know if you guys can see it. It still had two stickers on them, and I tried so hard to remove it, but you can still see it. And it's really bugging me. I don't know if you guys, you guys can see there's a sticker right here. It's like yellow, and you can't see it that much in the back, which was up here. It's also really sticky. So, I mean, at least it's better than not having anything, I guess. But I'm still really, really happy I've been playing Stella Glow and I really, really like it. It's so cute. Next up from Ulta, I got the Hair Care Heroes. This is just a big, giant pack. It was $9.99. Up here it says it is a $62 value, which I honestly do believe because some of these things, like, I'm so surprised that they're in here. Like, $10 for all of these, and they have some really good brands. I think this is insane. I think I'm gonna buy it every single year, and these sold out super fast. I got one for myself, and this one I believe I'm gonna keep as a present for someone. I just think it's such an insane deal. I'm pretty sure, like, one of these items costs more than $10, so what a steal. And the next thing I got was the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat. It's just a really small, oh, cute palette. I really, really love the colors. These are some of my favorite color colors to wear. I really wanted the bigger one, but I was like, no, you already have too many eyeshadows. So when I saw this one was 50% off, I, was, I just used the sale as an excuse to get another one. But I really, really like it. I really love these colors, and I like how it's so small. It's really nice for traveling, and it has cool packaging. It's on fire. Next up, I'm going to show you guys what I got on Dolls Kills. Dolls Kill were, was having a 25% off their entire store. And I'm really sad, guys, because the one item that I wanted the most, the one item that I pretty much made this order for, was sold out. Like, I bought everything, and then I was refunded for that item. And I hear a lot of people complain about that, about um, Dolls Kill selling them things and then just refunding them if they sell out instead of having... Instead of saying it's sold out and a lot of people, like, buy a bunch of stuff and then, like, five of the items uh, are sold out and they get refunded which is really sad because you feel like you already have it so I'll show you guys a picture that's pretty much why I made this order so I'm very very sad that I did not get that uh, I guess hopefully one day but I also did get this tank top let me see if I could show you guys better it says Libra because I am a Libra <laughs> I just thought it was cute and simple but look at this little lace it is by the brand Widow I really like that brand I really like the design. I did end up going with a medium, and honestly, I feel like this is like an extra small. I don't know if this is gonna fit at all. It looks so tiny, which again is sad. Like, ugh, and they don't have like measurements for specific items on their website. So I'm gonna be so sad if this doesn't end up fitting. And then I got these pants. These are hard to see, so I'm going to show you guys a close-up. I saw somebody on Instagram wearing them, and I fell in love with the way they looked on her. Honestly, I don't know if I can pull this off. They look a little weird on me. I, I feel like these are a mixture of, like, gothic fashion and, like, chola fashion. Because <laughs> they're, like, a little bit baggy. I did also get a medium, and these do fit, so these, so these run true to size. I'm just not completely sure if they look good on me, but I still think they're super duper cool. And another thing that kind of bothered me is that for their Black Friday sale, they were just giving away this Dolls Kill necklace, which honestly, I really, really like. I actually think it's very cute and I will wear it. But last year for their Black Friday sale, they were giving away free gift cards that had a value from $10 to $500 with every order. Like, that's way better than a necklace. And the gift card that I got actually had $25, which is awesome. I always feel unlucky, like I always get like the lowest you can get. But I got $25 and I ended up ordering a sweater. I thought they were going to do that this year. But nope, just, just a necklace, I, I guess. Yay. 
Damn guys, I ordered a lot of stuff, but I also ordered this from Sourpuss. Guys, this cardigan right here, I have been looking for this damn cardigan for I believe 10 years. I saw this cardigan about 10 years ago in a store and I didn't buy it. When I went back to try to buy it, it was gone and I could not find it online for years like I don't know if it was discontinued or what happened because I've been looking and searching for this dang cardigan for so long and I was on their site and I saw it I'm not sure if they re-released it or when they re-released it because I swear I have been looking for this cardigan their store was 25% off the entire store unfortunately they do not have uh, free shipping so the sale pretty much just took out the shipping, which I mean, I've been looking for this forever, so I thought it was still worth it. This was so insanely expensive. <laughs> But to be completely honest, this might actually be my favorite cardigan now, so I feel like that's definitely worth it. I love how simple it is. It has some lace, but then it has like this really cute spiderweb detail. I love it so much. I did end up going with a large, and I am a medium, and the large fits perfectly. The medium would have definitely been too small, so whew, thank goodness it fit, because you're finally mined. <laughs> And now from MAC, they were having a 25% off sale plus free shipping. Yeah, thank goodness. So I did order these three eyeshadows. I'll just show you a quick swatch. But I've been trying to like fill up my Z palette. So this is some of the eyeshadows that I picked. I really, really like them. And I'm so happy they have free shipping. That's like the best. And I did tell you guys on my other video, I ordered a couple of shirts from HotTopic.com because they just have a bigger selection. Of course, all shirts are always uh, $10 on Black Friday and long sleeves were $15. I got this Jaws shirt. I think it's really cool. I really like the design. And I've never really seen Jaws um, like t-shirts or anything. Then I got this My Chemical Romance Ouija board kind of print. This one's a women's t-shirt. I really like the way it fits and it's really stretchy. And then for the long sleeves, I thought $15 was such a steal. I got this Friday the 13th long sleeve, and it has just like Friday the 13th on the sleeve. These are so insanely comfortable, yet they look really, really cool. I got them all on extra small, and they're still a little bit big, but these are like men's sizes, I guess. And then this Lydia one was also part of the sale. It just says strange um, on one arm, and then it on the other one it says unusual, and then it has her little like her like right on here and it is cropped and holy moly I adore it this is definitely my favorite shirt I got from Hot Topic it just looks super duper flattering I really like the um, like length of the cropped if they had more uh, like t-shirts that were this exact style I would probably buy every single one of them it just looks really really nice and I couldn't believe this was also in the sales huh? yay and oh my god look at her I'm almost done guys I'm already really tired but from Crunchyroll but on Crunchyroll I didn't know Crunchyroll had sales but they had a couple of figures for 40% off and this sheet on Android was one of them oh my goodness I can't believe she was on sale look at her beautiful for rainbow hair. I got super excited. This is like the re-release because the one they did before when they released her uh, first, that one got super pricey so people were selling her for like $100 and I believe she was like 38 or something. I don't know in the sale and that's that's amazing. And I did end up getting two card captor Sakura figures. I'll show you guys a picture but uh, those will be coming later. So definitely for next year, I am Crunchyroll is one of the top places I'm going to go to to buy things. Because Nendroids are pretty expensive and she's just, ugh, she's so beautiful. And the very last things I got was an order from Colourpop. I'm going to show you guys these things super, super fast. Because I, if not, this is going to take forever. But they had a 30% off sale, which is awesome. And I got free shipping. So these are the three colors that I got from them. Then I got these two. These two are super duper sparkly and beautiful. I got this eyeshadow and it is like a jelly eyeshadow. It's really weird. I've never seen something like this. And it is pretty much like jelly. Like as you guys can see, this thing is insanely pigmented. You just like touch a little bit and like bang. Like that's pretty crazy. But then it kind of dries like if it was a powder. So these are very cool. 
And I've always wanted to try one of these. It's like a liquid shadow and it's uh, this one right here. It looks super cool and it's so sparkly. And then I got some brow products just really quickly. Some clear gel, some like brown gel. I got a, uh, a brush for this. I I've never tried a gel product for your eyebrows before and this one's like four bucks so I thought it was the perfect time to try one now. I've heard good things about it and of course I got uh, this brush for this. So wish me luck, hopefully I don't mess up. And then I got three lip colors which I absolutely do not need but oh my god they were on sale, how could you say no? And I really like all of them, they're all matte liquid lipsticks. I also did get some gifts, I got like five ColourPop items that I'm going to uh, give away for Christmas but I'm going to show you, <laughs> I'm not going to show you guys because they're going to be a surprise. Alright guys, so that is it. Man, I am tired and I gotta go. I have a pizza waiting for me, but today's video shout out goes to Barry Lolita. I saw you comment something very nice in one of my videos, so thank you so much for being a subscriber. It means so much to me. You are super awesome. So don't forget to keep commenting, guys, so I can choose you for the next video shout out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!